Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel once again. I am Ariadne if you did not already know me and if you did welcome back to another video For today's get ready with me I'm gonna be doing a little like tutorial on this look but before I continue I do want to talk about Yossi Air. I have worked with them in the past and I have mentioned them on my channel as well So if you guys don't know what they are, it's pretty much a perfume company that allows you to test out different scents so Dossier pretty much produces um, different luxury scents for a fraction of the price so you're not spending all your money on perfume. However, they do keep the exact same quality and smell. So they do have a risk-free system which allows you to test out any of the scents you choose before actually opening up the 50 milliliter bottle. This is with a 50 milliliter bottle but it actually also comes with a little sample one so you can test it out before opening this one out and if you do not like it you can return it and get a different scent which is super cool because you know if you want to try a new scent but you're not really sure which one to go for so you can actually test it out with a little sample bottle and if you don't like it return it and get a different one so if you do decide to return one of your scents um you can as long as this one is unsealed and like I said, you can just use the little sample bottle and they have a 30 day return policy. So within those 30 days, you're able to test it out. And if you don't like it, you can return it and you are able to get a full refund. No questions asked. So they are super affordable, which is what I love about Dossier. You actually get these little bottles for only $29, um, which if we're talking about different like expensive perfume brands, um, they range from anywhere from like $50 to $300. So you never really know how much you're spending on perfume, with, but with Dossier, you are only spending $29 for any scent you want. So if you were to have, if you were to have, want like a dupe for like a Gucci perfume or like a high-end perfume, you can actually test out like the difference. And they have had a lot of really good reviews of the similarity of the scents, which is super cool. Like I said, it's just a great way to save money, but still smell good. So yeah, like I said, any return or exchange is completely free. Um, so they always have really great deals on the website, anywhere from getting like 25% off. And also, if you buy more than three bottles, you get free shipping. And by the way, guys, they're always adding new scents to the collection. So if you don't find anything that works for you right now, they are always updating their um, perfume variations. So you guys can always go back to the website and check if they have any new scents that might work for you. Um, all the scents do have um, like a description of what they smell like. Like for example, this one. Um, the top notes are violet leaves and cardamom. I think that's how you say it. This one is called woody sandalwood and it smells so good. It just reminds me a lot of like a very natural nature smell. I love it so much. So yeah, like I said, you guys, really affordable, really convenient. So if you guys are interested, you guys can actually use my discount code Ariadna J10. Or also click the link in my description box to go ahead and check it out and purchase your perfume from Dossier. So yeah, link is in my description. Don't forget to check out Dossier. So now let's move on to the rest of the video. Okay guys, so I'm about to start with my makeup. And as I go on with the video, I am going to be answering some of you guys' questions. I posted a story on my Instagram a couple minutes ago. So you guys can ask me some questions regarding my pregnancy and... Just everything going on in my life right now. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, here I am. I'm going to answer some of you guys' questions. I'm honestly not so used to filming in English anymore because I feel like I talk Spanish most of the time now and even in my videos. So you guys do notice like my, um, my accent showing up more and more. That's probably why. Which I don't think it's bad at all. Like I don't think it's a problem. But obviously, since I do speak in, um, Spanish most of the time now, like my body, my mouth just gets used to like my Spanish. You know, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be explaining my makeup steps as I go, but I do just want to talk to you guys, update you guys on everything that's been going on, just my life lately. I feel like I don't really get to talk to you guys that much anymore because I'm. So busy, there's so many things going on in my life right now. By the way, if you hear all those dogs barking, I'm so sorry. They're like the most annoying thing ever. Like, it gets to like a point in the day when they just bark and bark and bark and bark, and it just happens to be now. So, and honestly, that's nothing compared to how bad it really gets. It's so annoying, but, anyways. So, I'm gonna start off with my eyebrows and then go from there. I'm gonna start answering. You guys' question. Let me go ahead and do my eyebrows and then I'll be right back because I feel like I can't talk into my eyebrows at the same time and then I'm gonna be like 
slow. Okay, so I filled in my eyebrows and I'm gonna go, go in with this really light um, 16 hour camo concealer from e.l.f. The reason is because first of all, I got the wrong shade. Second, I ran out of my actual shade. And third, it's fine. I'm just gonna be cleaning up my um, underbrows. So either way, I don't think it'll be a problem. So all I do is just fill them in with some powder and then just clean the bottom of them. I don't clean up the top anymore. Just to give them more of like a more natural look, I guess you could say. Um, so quick little update on my life lately is crazy oh my god um so i'm not sure if you guys follow me on our family channel if you don't i mean it is in spanish so if you don't i understand why you don't know this but <laughs> um we're most active on there just because i am always like filming with my family and you guys know my husband does not speak english so it just it's just easier for us you know uh so the only time i actually am able to like well not able to but i choose to record in english is when i'm doing like sit down like alone videos because i just feel more comfortable that way so if you guys are wondering why i don't really film in english anymore that's why but yeah um <laughs> i mostly update you guys on there on everything going on in my life if not on my instagram i'm pretty active on instagram most of the time i would say sometimes even more than youtube that is super light but Whew. wow that's actually really light so let me go in with another concealer so i can kind of mix them up so i don't look too crazy cool this is kind of scary homegirl um, i'm gonna go in with this frankie rose concealer um and I'm just gonna go right here on my lid and blend it out. Okay, so um, I am pregnant. <laughs> I am very pregnant. Um, I have been pregnant for a long time now. And I'm not gonna tell you guys right now how far along I am. But I am gonna upload a video pretty soon talking about how long I hid my pregnancy for and why. And just, I don't know, just update you guys on all that stuff. But um, I am pretty far along, I would say. I never thought I would be able to hide my pregnancy for this long. Because I feel like you guys always just know things, you know? But I wanted to just because um, with my pregnancy with Sebastian, um, I let you guys know pretty early on. And I, I just wanted things to be different this time around. Yeah, anyways, I'm going to talk about that on a different video but i i am pregnant <laughs> i am pregnant i already know what i'm having the gender of our baby and um <sighs> what can i say you guys what can i say um we recently found out the gender um last weekend which we were supposed to know this long time ago but um we actually had a ultrasound and for some reason, um, ultrasound said one sex and then my blood test said a different sex. So we were really confused and we just wanted to wait a little bit longer just to make sure, like completely, you know. Um, and that's what we did. So we actually had our gender reveal the day of my baby boy's first birthday party, which is super crazy. I never thought that would happen. Like, I, it wasn't planned. <laughs> um but yeah i we had our gender reveal and his first birthday party as well he just turned a one year old yesterday which was october 12th and all i can say is i was very emotional yesterday it was just kind of like a roller coaster for me because i was very happy but at the same time like it made me so like sad to know that he's already one year old and i can't believe time went by that fast you know like it's crazy to think like how fast time flies especially when you have a baby like one day you're at the hospital giving birth and then the next day like they're one year old and you're like what the hell where did time go what happened where was i this whole time you know <laughs> it's just so crazy but yeah that's pretty much what has happened um so now let me go on to the questions um okay first question is are you having a boy or a girl <sighs> I'm having a baby girl 
uh, I, I don't even know if I can talk about this without like getting emotional and like wanting to cry because it's just that crazy to me. I feel like, okay, I'm going to tell you guys my exact, exact thoughts on this. So for a really long time, um, when I first got pregnant this time around, first time around with Sebastian, I, I was like, whatever sex is fine, but I always wanted a baby girl, you know, like, but I didn't care if it was a boy or a girl because I knew it wouldn't be my last pregnancy. Um, and it was like, whatever came was perfect. So was this time around, okay? Um, don't get me wrong, like, I was perfectly fine with e either sex. <sighs> but... I was always leaning a lot towards girl because my dream in life has always been to have a baby girl so we can have matching outfits and have little mommy and daughter dates and little like just those moments you can only have with a girl you know um so I would pray to God I would have I was having a girl but at the same time I was like if, it, if it's a boy that's perfectly fine because honestly Oh my god, they're gonna fucking drive me crazy. Because, um, Sebastian loves me. Like, I don't even know how to explain how much he loves me. But I feel it so much. And he makes me feel so loved all the time. Which I know, most of the, for most cases, like, as I've heard, um, baby boys fall in love with their mommies first. Okay, you're like their first love. Which explains why they're so attached to moms. And baby girls fall in love with their daddies. So I was like, oh my god, if I have a boy, I'm, I want, like, I do not care. I want another baby boy so that I can experience that all over again, you know, like, and so I can be so loved by both of my baby boys. And, you know, like, that's the reason I wanted a baby boy. But I wanted a girl because I already know what it's like to have a boy. So I want to know what it's like to have a girl. And every time I imagine myself, myself, um, pregnant like when i was younger or thought about having kids i just always pictured myself with baby girl and like just dressing her up and doing her hair and being girly you know because i was so girly ever since i was very little so uh, that just made me so excited and anytime anyone would ask me like what do you want boy or girl i would be like i want a girl i want a girl i want a girl so bad but i never wanted to get in my head that i was gonna have a girl just in case it wasn't a girl so I wouldn't be disappointed and like feel upset, you know, because um, although that is completely like normal and valid, like you're okay to have expectations and stuff. Um, sometimes just God has a different plan for you and it's out of your control, you know, so <sighs> I wanted a baby girl so bad and I would always talk about it to like my family and stuff, how I wanted a baby girl and I wanted a baby girl. But I would also talk one day, um, we went to the ultrasound and then that day I was just thinking about it all day. I was like, I want to be a girl so bad, but if it's a boy, that's fine. You know, like I was always just leaning towards a girl, but if it was a boy, that was fine. And at some point in the day, I just stopped and I was like, oh my God, I don't think God would ever give me a baby girl just because I want it so bad. I don't think it's possible to happen you know like i just thought it was too far from reality like for that to happen because of how bad i wanted it i don't know if it makes any sense like i don't know how to explain it but i'm hoping you guys understand what i'm talking about right now i just thought god would never give me a baby girl because it was just one of those things like you want it so bad but you know it's so impossible for it to happen so that's kind of where when that day I just kind of it settled in my mind and I was like I'm not having a girl like God wouldn't give me a girl and although I still wanted a girl really really bad I just got in my head so much that I was gonna have a baby boy like I said just like if I was so if it was a boy I wouldn't be disappointed and stuff um so I just really got it in my head that it was gonna be a boy it was gonna be a boy but I still never really knew. Um, my symptoms were different from Sebastian's pregnancy. But I kind of like wanted to ignore them. Um, I kind of ignored my different my differences in my pregnancy. Just so I wouldn't um, start thinking I'm going to have a girl because my symptoms are different. You know, I just didn't want anything that would give me 
any type of hope that I was having a girl because I didn't want to be disappointed. So I I knew my pregnancy was different from the first one, but I I just ignored it honestly. Like I I didn't pay any attention to it. And I was just like, maybe it's just every pregnancy is going to be different. And no matter what the sex is, it's just going to be different. So, um, yeah, I, at some point, also, I feel like because my mom had so many, well, it's three of us, it's three girls. And then she had the baby boy last. People always got in my head that I was going to be a boy mom because my mom already had the girls. I don't know if that makes any sense, but... That's just kind of what people would say, like, oh, you're going to have all the boys since your mom had all the girls. That's just what people would tell me, and I would be like, oh my god, why? I want a baby girl, you know? Um, and so I found out I was having a girl, and my first thought, like, I couldn't believe it, honestly. Like, I would just, when whenever we had the gender reveal, I would just think to myself, like, is this really happening, like? Is this really happening? There's no way this is actually happening. And it was happening. And I just, I couldn't believe it. And I kept on doubting myself. And I'm like, maybe the results are wrong. And maybe they didn't see the sex correctly in the ultrasound. Or I don't know, something. I just kept on thinking so many things in my head. I just didn't think it was possible. Because like I said, I never thought that would happen to me. You know, like I just thought it was so impossible for that to happen to me. And um, I just kept on asking, like, are you being serious? It's like, or is this a joke? And I was being, like, so serious about it. I didn't, I wasn't just saying that to say it. I honestly thought people were just fucking around with me and, like, telling me I, it was, I was having a girl. I don't know, to hurt my feelings or something. I don't know, just to play with my head. And I thought it was a joke and I couldn't believe it. Long story short, um... <sighs> The way I felt, I don't even know how to explain it. I just bursted out crying and I was crying and crying and I lasted like an hour crying and I couldn't even speak because of how much I was crying and I couldn't believe it. Like I couldn't believe this was really my life. And then at some point I even started feeling so ungrateful. Like I I was like, I don't deserve this. Like how how does God just give me what I want the most in life right now? I mean, like how does God just do that for me? And I don't I don't know, I feel like I have to get closer to God. And don't get me wrong, when Sebastian was born, I did get like a, a lot closer to God. But I feel like now, um, I don't know, it's just something I mean, like I didn't believe it would happen. And he just proved me wrong, you know, and that's so crazy to think about. You guys, hold on, let me go ahead and finish my eyes because I'm taking forever doing this. And this video is going to be way too long. So let me just finish off my eyes and I'll be right back. Okay, so my eyeshadow is pretty much done. I know it looks a mess, but I don't know if... I uh, promise it looks better in person. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and put my hair up. So I can start doing my foundation really quickly. Um, Overall, I just... I feel like even in the video, the general review, I didn't have much of a reaction. Because I just cried and cried and cried. But I just couldn't believe it. I honestly thought it wasn't really happening. And I, I was just so confused. Because I never thought that would happen to me. And um, all I can say is. I am so blessed. And I don't know. I just feel like God's timing is perfect. And I don't know. Sometimes I don't even feel like I deserve my life right now. Because I feel like I'm so loved. And my life it's just so perfect in my eyes like everything i ever dreamt of is happening and i just can't believe it you know and then that same day um at night i called my aunt because she always told me you're having a girl you're having a girl every time she would tell me i was having a girl i was like okay and if i end up not having a girl i'm gonna come to you and i'm gonna you know like i'm gonna blame you for t getting into my head that i'm having a girl so that same night i called her and i was like oh my god i'm having a girl at any time someone someone would congratulate me or just i would talk about it it would just make me so emotional and i just wanted to cry and cry and cry um so i called her and i was like i'm having a girl and she just burst out crying and she was like i told you and and i was just telling her how i felt like i didn't deserve it you know like 
I I felt so ungrateful for everything because my life is just so perfect and sometimes I'm still not happy enough you know like why am I not happy enough if I have everything anyone could ever dream of you know like my life is exactly what I imagined it to be like years ago you know so so why am I still not happy enough you know what I mean like sometimes I just I don't know I just feel like I have been so ungrateful my whole life because at the end of the day God is putting everything in my life how I always dreamt of it to be so yeah um I called her and and I, I just told her like I feel like I don't deserve it and she, I, I remember she just told me why wouldn't you you're a great person you're good to others like you're a good person why why wouldn't you deserve this much happiness you know and it just made me even more emotional i don't know it's just so crazy to think about how um to think that your plans are god's plans as well you know does it make any sense i don't know but yeah um so yeah that's how i feel i feel like i don't deserve it i feel like it's too good to be true still like i still it hasn't sinked in so yeah <laughs> um next question morning sickness difference from my last pregnancy so with sebastian i also had morning sickness only difference is as soon as i turned three months or a little bit before i turned three months pregnant with sebastian um my morning sickness went completely away and this time around i still woke up this morning and threw up so um it has not gone away and i am a lot further along now and i still have morning sickness and I still can't eat certain food. I think the main difference now, uh, this pregnancy, this time around, is I cannot stand chicken. I cannot eat chicken at all. I cannot stand the smell of chicken. Nothing that has to do with chicken. So that's something that didn't happen to me when I was pregnant with Sebastian. So that's one of the main differences. Also, this time around, uh, my body aches a lot. And now I'm not sure if it's because I just had another pregnancy like back to back But um, I have heard that girl pregnancies are tougher on your body because they make They kind of like expand you a little bit more I don't know something like that people have told me different like stories and opinions on that and experiences on that so As far as I've heard it's common for girl pregnancies to be a little bit harder on your body And um what else has been different um i lost a lot of weight um i couldn't eat anything at all for the first i would say first three months and a half i couldn't eat anything at all i would throw up water anything i put in my mouth i would throw up which made me lose a lot of weight um and oh also a lot of people thought that i got pregnant with um birth control and no, I actually got rid of my birth control towards the end of April because it was giving me um, very bad hormonal changes and I felt like really depressed for a long time. And I swear, as soon as I took that thing off, um, I was back to being myself. So I didn't last too long before I got pregnant <laughs> as soon as I took off my birth control. So. For those of you guys that were worried that I got pregnant when I still had my birth control on it or that it failed, um, no, I actually took it out and then I got pregnant. So, yeah. Next question is, do we have a baby's name? Fun fact, um, we're going to do like a whole video on this in Spanish later on in the pregnancy to like announce her name. But we have had her name... <laughs> ever since we were about 13 years old so we have had our baby girl's name for years so yeah we do have a baby girl's name already and it's settled and it's chosen so yeah we do have a name so my last pregnancy i actually had a c-section and this time around i'm also having a c-section um my doctor just told me it is um safer because i do already have a c-section and because of the time difference like because they're so close to each other it is just the better route to go um with another c-section which i do not mind at all because i mean i already have my scar and 
thank god my c-section my experience was so positive like i didn't suffer at all like i honestly think i had a really good um experience so that's why i don't mind going through another c-section and for me i just kind of have to know what's going on you know when when it's going down so just knowing an exact like um due date and stuff just makes me feel more at peace in a way and since we do live um far from our families it just makes it easier to plan like for them to come down for when the baby's born so yeah um so i do plan on having another c-section do you think the newborn stage is the hardest um they just sleep a lot i feel like on the newborn stage <sighs> It's just mainly them sleeping, but it was hard for me because he would get really colicky and he would get really colicky during the night. So my sleep schedule was really thrown off. So I feel like that's why I think it's hard. But other than that, no, I think it's pretty easy because as they get older, then they start requiring more attention and more like they're just a lot more active. So it's just a lot more going on. But I think the newborn stage is fairly easy. And like I said, maybe this is because my C-section experience was very positive and it was very smooth. So I think maybe if you've had like a tougher experience, you wouldn't agree with me. But I think it was pretty easy in my case. Do I plan on breastfeeding again? Yes, definitely. Um, I pray to God. I am able to breastfeed again because it's one of the most beautiful experiences I have ever been through. You know, like it's it was just so beautiful and I enjoyed it so much. I am so blessed I was able to breastfeed my baby boy um, for as long as I wanted to, honestly. And a lot of people were thinking that I cut out his breastfeeding because I got pregnant. And no, that is not the case. I actually... Um, planned on cutting out uh, breastfeeding when he was one year old ever since he was in my belly like that was always my goal so it didn't change at all because my goal was always to cut it um when he turned one and i was actually able to do it a little bit before which worked perfectly fine with my doctor's recommendations with the pregnancy oh the question is was the chinese calendar um accurate for you yes it was actually accurate with Sebastian's pregnancy and it was also accurate this time around as well so so far i believe in it because both pregnancies have been accurate so yeah with Sebastian, it said i was having a boy and with this one it said i was having a girl so yeah I believe in it. <laughs> okay guys, so I just finished off my makeup. I added my lashes. These are in the style um, 1111 from my collection. Look how pretty they are. And I think my makeup come out pretty good if you ask me. I'm pretty happy with the results. So now I'm going to go ahead and curl my hair really quickly. And I'll be right back. And my hair is now done. I just gave it a little bit of a curl. And... That's about it, honestly, for today. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you guys think about my pregnancy and just everything going on in my life right now in general. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Do not forget to check out Dosier. And I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.